time is fast running out for the two main candidates in the race for the White House. Joining us again for a U.S. election update is Stefan Grober, our man in Washington. Stefan, what's the state of play? Well, Mark, a week in politics can be an eternity, right? Remember, last week we were talking about Hillary Clinton winning really big and possibly flipping Texas and Georgia. Now we're looking at a different picture, but not entirely different. And the reason I say this is uh, because of real votes and real numbers, not polls. Early voting has been going on for quite some time in many states. And we know how many registered Democrats and how many registered Republicans have already cast their votes. And uh, compared to 2012 at this stage, the numbers look very good for Clinton in Colorado and North Carolina and reasonably good in Florida. Now, if she carries these three states, the race is over. On the other hand, Trump is definitely reaping the benefits of the FBI bombshell and the race has definitely tightened. So where are the candidates focusing their resources in the final week? The focus has really shifted to states that are reliably democratic, especially the so-called blue wall up north, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin and Michigan. These are the states that Donald Trump is targeting to forge a path to victory. He's making a late pitch to blue collar workers, blue collar voters as someone who channels their economic frustrations. Now, this may or may not work. Now, the Clinton campaign, which is uh, flush with money, is following Trump into these states, buying ads in the North, in Colorado, in Virginia, um, which could be a sign that Clinton is nervous and that she wants to defend what seems to be in her column rather than uh, make a play in traditional uh, red states like Texas and Georgia. Now, you've been speaking this week of Trump's lack of a, a ground game. How can Clinton use her own ground game to her advantage? Well, well, having a ground game means that you have canvassers to laser focus on voters you need to turn out based on very sophisticated data banks with information about voters' income, status, uh, consumption habits, etc. It's not about randomly knocking on doors. It's about engaging low propensity voters who are already in your corner and uh, who are registered but do not participate in elections regularly. The Clinton campaign has that sort of operation going in uh, critical battleground stakes uh, like, for instance, Florida, uh, where they have hundreds and hundreds of Spanish-speaking canvassers to help low propensity Democratic voters to turn out and vote. And uh, that could help Clinton over the finish line in Florida and elsewhere. Okay, Stefan Grober, we'll be catching up with you very soon. Thanks once again. Bye.